What's up guys? Welcome back to Chiefs Chat. Today we're doing the Chiefs versus Broncos game recap. Um, now I want to preface this discussion by saying that I did just get done watching the Chargers versus Raiders game. I have a lot that I want to say. The playoff picture is set. There's a lot on my mind right now, but I just want to get this episode out of the way. I'm trying to talk about the Broncos game, which to be honest, I wasn't paying much attention of. I was at work, first of all. And second of all, I was more interested in the Texans game, which I will talk about in the next episode, it'll be out shortly, but I just want to get this video out of the way because I got to do the game recap. Uh, so yeah, um, it wasn't that great of a game, to be quite honest, you know? I was expecting a blowout, you know? It, it just an absolute domination. Um, yeah, you know, things don't always go your way. Things don't always go the way that you expect things to go. And that's, uh, you know, that's the way this game went. Uh, Patrick Mahomes, had a solid game. He was okay. You know, the offense really did look all right. You know, I'm not seeing anything wrong with the offense. I haven't seen anything wrong with the offense in quite a while. So going into the playoffs, I'm not too worried about the offense. But what I am worried about is the defense, okay? Not a good performance against Drew Locke and the Broncos. That's not what you want to see. Uh, you know, Drew Locke, he was rushing the ball, getting rushing touchdowns, you know? Drew Locke, a guy who's not known as a mobile quarterback, getting rushing touchdowns, that's not good, okay? That is not good at all, okay? We gotta make sure we know how to manage those type of runs. We gotta make sure that we're modernizing our defense, you know? That's just the way the league is nowadays. These quarterbacks who aren't really known for being able to run the ball, they're getting it done, you know? We gotta be bulletproof here going into the playoffs. We gotta fix those things, okay? And it didn't look like we, it just didn't look like we had it figured out against the Broncos. You know, the Broncos not really known for being a very good offensive team. They were doing some solid stuff against our defense, you know, uh, throwing the ball well, running the ball well. It wasn't ideal, you know, uh, you know, it just sucks that you know, we, we couldn't get the job done earlier. But it's all right, you know, I didn't expect us to lose, you know, by any means necessary, but, but we did pull out the win, so... That all kind of went according to plan, but you know everything in between was a little, a little iffy, you know. Uh, but shout out to uh, Melvin Ingram, man! What a signing! Uh, what, what a signing he was, you know. Melvin Ingram has made some pretty big plays, you know. He's doing some great things on this uh, Chiefs defense. I mean, uh, it's crazy to think about the fact that the Steelers kind of just didn't want him, you know. They weren't even really using him, but here he is on the Chiefs defense making big plays. Um, and obviously, you, you know, you guys know what play I'm referring to—the crazy uh, fumble. And then the recovery by Nick Bolton, taking it all the way to the house. I mean, that was just a great play. Uh, the longest fumble recovery for a touchdown of the season. And it all came from Nick Bolton and Melvin Ingram. That's great. I mean, that was the play that really did change the game, you know? Uh, the score is 20 to 21. The, the Broncos are driving, getting really close to the end zone. And then, boom! The game changes just like that, you know? It was a big play, crazy play. But it definitely saved us in that game. I mean, I gotta say it. Uh, that big play on defense saved us. And that's what we need. You know, the defense, you know, objectively, we didn't play good. You know, we were letting uh, letting them drive down the field. It seemed like each and every time they had the ball. Uh, but when it comes down to it, those big plays are the ones we need to make in order to win games. And I think when it comes to turnovers, I think our mindset is in the right place going into the playoffs. Uh, but objectively, we need to do better as a whole. You know, that's just uh, kind of just stating the obvious, to be honest. So... The Broncos, they're not a playoff team. Their offense is not built to perform in the playoffs, but they looked good against a playoff defense. So that I'm not feeling the best about. And especially considering the fact that we just got absolutely shut down by the Bengals uh, prior to this week. I'm not feeling too good, you know? Uh, but obviously we got the Steelers in the wild card round and I'll talk about that again, like I said, in the next episode. But I'm trying to focus on this Broncos game. And yeah, you know, overall, not as happy as I felt like I, I would have been after this game. Obviously, I said in my last Chiefs chat, oh man, this, this game is nothing. This game is a breeze, oh, blah, blah, blah. Didn't end up working out that way. So I hate to say it, didn't work out. But uh, yeah, you know, that's pretty much all I got to say. Overall, we got the win. And that's all that matters. Uh, so thank you guys for watching. I, I'll have a lot to say in my next episode, so stay tuned for that. It'll probably be out, honestly, by the time this video comes out, because I'm pretty much making it right now. Uh, but thank you guys for watching. Peace out.